very entertaining in the ever dying light here at Le Mans as it got darker and darker. Sasha Lenz making it to the grid after having an axle change between races one and two. But as the field was led away, it was another dramatic start. Contact between Jose Rodriguez and Mark Taylor at the back of the pack would put both of them out of the race with damage. There was something snapped on the front right of Mark's truck and a puncture and big damage to the left rear of Jose Rodriguez's machine. Andre Kurzin was yet again in the wars, constantly defending from drivers around him, but he and Steffi Halm would both pick up penalties before the end of the race. Five seconds apiece for those drivers for leaving the circuit and gaining an advantage. Jose Eduardo Rodriguez was working hard, defending from the three titans of the championship, Norbert Kish, Jochen Hahn and Sasha Lenz, but eventually would succumb to the pressure. That's not without a little bit of contact from Jochen Hahn, who sent it up the inside into the long sweeping right-hander but Norby then showed us his real class with some beautiful maneuvers to move forward around Stefan Fass and then carry on heading straight forward through the field but at the front it was Jamie Anderson and Stefan Helm sorry Stephanie Helm who was taking the fantastic battle on at the front with eventually Jamie taking the win from Antonio Albacete and Norbert Kish.